And welcome back, Haskey here with another guide for Banjo-Kazooie. Today's episode is going to be on collecting extra honeycomb pieces on Treasure Trove Cove. This should be another quick one for you. The first one is going to be fairly close to the entrance of the level. It's going to be over here in this kind of interesting pocket. There it is right there, as you can see on screen. Um, not a whole lot else going on in this area. You wouldn't have really been over here for any other reason, so pretty good place to hide a extra honeycomb piece. Now we need to be somewhat careful. We don't want to be throwing ourselves down there just yet, just because of Snacker the Shark. I mean, I certainly have done it, but you'll definitely take damage from him biting chunks out of you. Luckily, however, you can sort of disable Snacker the Shark. I had no idea this was a thing when I was a kid playing Banjo-Kazooie for the first time. But yeah, if you hit him with some eggs, you can put him on cooldown for a while. Now he won't, he's not dead. He's not gone forever. He will eventually pop back up, but you have a pretty good two minutes or so before he appears again. Um, just out of, I, I wasn't really sure myself during the, the making of this video. I, I took a quick glance at the clock to see how long it was that he's actually out of commission, if you will. And yeah, it looks like around two minutes. So keep that in mind. And we'll be heading over here to sort of the other side of the map to grab the other extra honeycomb piece. And this one is also hidden pretty well, in sort of a funny way, in, in my opinion. There it is there. <laughs> Just a second ago, it was completely invisible because of the viewing distance in Banjo-Kazooie. It's not very far. So you kind of really need to get pretty close to this box to before you even see it. So uh, make sure you're taking a good look out in the ocean for that one. And here comes Snacker again. I guess our two minutes is up. Interesting thing about Snacker, though, is apparently, and I didn't know this until I was working on this project, but yeah, there you go. It takes, uh, after after you've disabled him the first time, you only need to hit him one more time before he's disabled again. And then you have a whole nother two minutes to, you know, do whatever you want out in the ocean. Anyway, though, that's going to be it for our extra honeycomb piece guide on Treasure Trove Cove. Thank you so much for watching. Next up is going to be our Claker's Cavern guide, so stay tuned for that, and I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>